Well, I think t time is the first thing that comes to mind, that there's less time uh, to ponder, to think. Uh, we used to have a philosophy of uh, working a uh, uh, copy for an ad for a week or two weeks, and every day you'd come in and try to make it a little bit better, you know, incrementally better, and uh, every word must tell. Uh, and now it's, uh, you know, get it out in 15 minutes, and nobody reads copy anyway. The picture is what's important. Uh, similarly, uh, in, the, in olden times, uh, not quite Mad Men, but uh, a few years after Ad Men, uh, doing effects was uh, an excuse to go to Los Angeles for uh, a week or two, and you'd do a super and have to go back to the hotel for two days while the lab worked on it, and uh, you know, do an edit, and uh, have to wait to see how the dissolves worked out wait another two days by the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Now all this stuff happens overnight. And, uh, you know, so what's, what's changed is, uh, you know, lack of sleep. <coughs> Better be in the studio working on it. Uh, and, you know, we're yeah. doing jobs now overnight that used to take weeks. You know, because I, I think that the, this business of, uh, you know, kind of the, the bastard art and pseudoscience, uh, getting people's attention, mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I think most really good advertising people who, you know, are second, third, or fourth children who couldn't get their dad's attention, so they had to figure out ways of doing that. Uh, I think a lot of that is very much the same. And if you look back in advertising, there was uh, some great human stuff that uh, holds up rather well over time. I, I think today, uh, uh, a creative director has to understand the power of the remote control and the, f the fact that uh, what we do is so easily refused mm. uh, that uh, the old rules of uh, simply going for attention and awareness probably don't work nearly as well as they did when there were a limited number of channels.